Hello, my name is Lynn Marie, and welcome to my video. Today, I want to talk to you about Ephesians 1, 3, and 4. Let me read it to you. Praise be to God the Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in the heavenly realms with every spiritual blessing in Christ. For he chose in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. Did you hear that? God loves us unconditionally. Before he even brought us into the world, he knew us. He loved us and put that blessing on us. Now, we have to have faith and know that God has done what he said he was going to do. That he has blessed us. And the things that we desire, our hearts desire, oh, we can have it. In fact, we already do. It's there. It's there in our future. If not already in our present, we just have to see it. It's a different way of looking at things. You see, I work with individuals that have disabilities. I've done it for many years. In fact, I have family members who have disabilities and have grown up in a world where people need assistance. And you probably have too. So as human beings, we have something very much in common, that we are here to help and take care of other people. And we have to let them know that we love them, just like God lets us know that he loves us unconditionally. And you need to know that you have to have faith. Faith is what drives it all. Faith drives everything. I have seen people with no arms and no legs travel around the world motivating other people. How do they get up out of bed every day? They have no arms, no legs, but they do it. They have assistance. Someone helps them, but they didn't give up. And they didn't have so much pride that they didn't ask for help. If you need help, ask for it. God will send the right people to you to help you in your situation. We are in a time where there is rumors of war and wars, and there are going to be casualties, and there are going to be people who need to be picked up and carried back to safety. And those of us who have legs and arms, that's what we're here to do. And you have to have faith that God is carrying you as well when you carry that other person. He is always there with us, picking us up, holding us up, holding us down. Now they say, he got your back. He's got our back. Know that God loves you. That is what I came to tell you today. And I hope that you received the message. Check out Ephesians 1. It's the letter that Paul wrote check it out for yourself and meditate on the word while you are doing it i'll see you soon have a wonderful day